Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Oxford Cultural Group. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, me, Tarabas! 
Did you guys enjoy that? Come on, did you enjoy that performance? Please put your hands together for the Hartsford Cultural Group out of Westmoreland, right? Absolutely amazing. At this time, we're going to have the playing of the national anthem. I ask you all, please, to pause your meals and to stand as we play the anthem. Please stand. We invite everybody to stand for the playing of the national anthem of Jamaica. Can we ask you to stand wherever you are? As long as you're in this, in this span of this microphone, we ask everyone to stand where you are for the playing of the national anthem of Jamaica. This is the Glenmuir High School branch 2024. And at Glenmuir, we do it differently from everybody else. And we are the school of choice. Amen? Amen. Let's have the national anthem. by Mr. Dene Greaves, past student of Glenmuir High School. Sit please, as I invite our president, the president of the Glenmuir Past Student Association, Jamaica chapter, to welcome you. Thank you so very much. So friends all, good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning, good morning. No, it's afternoon, right? Some of you have been here from morning. So good afternoon, everyone. So our annual signature fundraising event is here again. Let's do brunch once more. So this year, our Glenmere Past Students brunch comes home to Clarendon, to a location that celebrates one of our most outstanding alumni couples, Mr. and Mrs. Jukichin. This year, yes, please give up. Thank you. This year we come to the veranda, a unique space which creates an ambience of friendship and intimacy. A space of luxuriant flora and flamboyant architecture. So here we are today in Clarendon, in this, the year of our 65th anniversary. It is indeed good to be back home where we'll be having a different kind of vibe. As a school of excellence, there will always be highly charged talent on display with some trust meals in an atmosphere of friendship and fun. As we reflect on our established, as we reflect on our history, the late Bishop Percival Gibson, first native Anglican Bishop of Jamaica, established Glenmere in 1958 to bring opportunities for excellence to the children like me of the rural poor in central Jamaica. We recall the first lines of our school song. In the center of her isle, where hills and vales collide, a place of learning was conceived to fill our hearts with pride. And so, as we look to the hills, and you see the hills around you, that seem to stare down upon us, we feel proud of our heritage, carved out of deliberate programs to instill within us things of beauty. Beauty of character, beauty of physique, beauty of attitude, and beauty of spirit. Therefore, it is with a sense of pride that I welcome our alumni from across the world 
those from the local chapter, the Florida chapter, the New York chapter, the Toronto chapter, the UK chapter, and Friends of Glenmere UK. I see my fellow presidents around, Perry, Shireen, Norman, Dinsmore representing Andre, and I believe Ilet is joining us online. And yes, we are streaming brunch, and we extend a special welcome to our alumni and friends using the technology which seamlessly binds us together. I also want to welcome those patrons and sponsors that are not members of Glenmere, but who have over the years been faithful partners and friends. I recognize those who have journeyed with us from our usual Kingston venues to experience a brunch with a Clarendon vibe. For patrons joining us for the first time, we want to specially welcome and assure you that you will enjoy our brunch offering. Today is also a special day for our principal, Dr. Marsha Smalling. Dr. Smalling, raise your hand or stand up. A Glenmere alumna. She's celebrating her birthday, and Madam Principal, we salute you. Thank you for all you do at our alma mater and for spending your special day with us. We also have another birthday alumna, Christine Hastings Longstead, who is using this occasion to celebrate with her family and friends. Happy birthday, ladies. Many of you will recall that brunch is deliberately staged within the contours of International Women's Day. It would therefore be remiss of me not to salute all the beautiful and distinguished women gathered here today. It was a Jamaican poet, George Campbell, who acclaimed the power, resilience, and dynamism of the Jamaican women when he described them as history makers, destiny shapers, hammers, and rocks. I therefore crave your indulgence as I invite our men gathered here to rise, men, rise in fulsome applause as we salute our women. Gentlemen, please rise. Thank you very much. So allow me to also welcome the current students whose responsibility it is to maintain the national acclaim brand of Glenmere as both a beacon of excellence and the school of choice. With them, we hail the teaching staff, the administrative and ancillary staff, as they continue the work of a sustainable all-round achievement. I recognize our board chairman, I think he's somewhere, he's just walking in, I think, our board chairman, Mr. Patrick Dilton, and other directors. I welcome the PTA, special invited guests, members of the business community, and the wider Glenmere family. Before I close, I want to recognize and thank the brunch planning team, led by the lady standing next to me, Pruden Simpson. The success of brunch is because of your commitment, creativity, and hard work. Please give her a round of applause. So friends all, we will share a fun-filled day of great vibes and entertainment as we come away from the everyday conundrum of life. I invite us all to come catch the vibes as we celebrate Glenmere at 65. So, before I leave the stage, in all things we must give thanks. So I now invite, where is he? Where is he? Where is Mr. Cindy Barclay? Who will invite God's presence and your hair and the grace for a wonderful meet. Let's stand everybody in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's stand as we invite God's presence with us. God our Father, who in your earthly creation did proclaim that mankind must live together in unity and that we must live by the example that you set so as the Father, Son, and the Spirit are one. Bind us together with a oneness of spirit and a oneness of love and understanding so that we may come to know the beauty of fellowship the gracefulness of friendship and the absolute opportunity that comes when we work together we thank you for today we thank you for this place we thank you for those who have come to be in this place 
We thank you for those who are on the platform joining in this space. And we thank you, O oh God, that everything we do has been ordered by you long before we came here. And so we know that all will be done well that is done by you. And finally, O oh Lord, we ask that you bless the food we will eat, those who have prepared it. Grant, O oh gracious God, that as we work, as we eat together, we remember that eating together as what happened in the Last Supper is a sure, sure revelation of how we feel about each other. And so we ask for your blessing for the rest of this day and beyond. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much, Sydney. So we have a few uh, stations. There's one outside, which is branded Muirhead, which many of you will know what that means. It's one of our schoolhouses. And that's for the outside. And then we have one here, Mark Gibson. So there are two stations. Two stations. Remember, you need your tickets to get your meal. Go to the station closest to you. And we also have Pausey and the Rue. And these are the bars. So we have an inside bar, Pausey. And we have the lovely lounge and bar, which is branded Monimus Brum. And that is my house, the Rue. Our house, the Rue. So while we dine, the DJ will play some music. We will have some prizes and surprises, some wonderful moments. Please do not miss it. So as they say in French, bon appétit. Enjoy your meal and the friendship. We ask you to go to the table that is closest to you, the area to be served. We ask you to be mindful of each other's presence. Be free to move over. The ticket or the armband allows you to get your meal.
sponsors today. I want to say thank you to Juicy, JN Bank, Nation's Choice, the frozen food giant, sup supplying Jamaica with affordable seafood, meat, and vegetables. Always your best. Also, Money Must Rums with Cinco and their brands Water, Cran Water, True Juice, and Coca Cola. Grace Kennedy, Aval Medical Supplies and Disposables, Saint International. We also have Signatures Boutique, also Magic Touch Events, Ledger for Pleasure, Boots Service Station, and GSD Pharmacy located at 55A Manchester Avenue, Mayfield. I want to say thank you on behalf of the Glenmuir team to all the, spons the sponsors sorry, for making this possible this evening. Thank you very much. Sponsors that is Leisure for Pleasure Holidays and Tours. They're also one of the gate sponsors, right? Okay, and they're also offering a raffle prize today as well. And the gate prize is a weekend for two. Wow, I I'm a married man. Can I get a weekend for two? <laughs> so, Leisure for Pleasure they offer lots of services for your leisure actually. Hotel and villa accommodation, reunion, conference, retreats, resort weddings, all-inclusive hotel day and night passes, one-day local tours, fun days. You said three, five, seven, fourteen days Jamaica island-wide tours. Okay. If you if you got married recently and want to have your honeymoon, they can also do it for you. Anniversary packages, social packages, customized tours fundraiser incentive packages, transportation, you name it, Ledge of a Pleasure can take care of you if you're ever needed those services. So we're going to invite you to check them out there right there. You see a banner right there. We're inviting you over so you can start planning your next vacation, okay? All right, so that's Ledge of a Pleasure. Sasha Lee Robinson, that's you. Judith James Watt, okay? So we have Miss, is it Mrs. Mrs. Judith James Watt. She's here today as a sponsor from Leisure for Pleasure. You're saying that there's a raffle? Okay, how do we enter for that raffle? Okay, so if you make your way to the table, you'll be able to enter the raffle, okay? Complete the form, and later on, a day pass or two, at the Ocean Coral Spring Eden Bay, one of Jamaica's newest properties. So you can definitely enter if you want a weekend for two on Ledger for Pleasure, okay? That's the gate price. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, oh, so that day pass for two and a weekend for two. Okay, I got you. I got you. So the gate price is a weekend for two. And the price at your table is a day pass. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so please make your way over and check out Leisure for Pleasure Travel. Thank you. From that people, your hand is long time when we never see you. Come back, me hold your hand. Heal a job, put sit down, put your tongue, pick up the blossom. Make me hold your hand. Why? Make me hold your hand. Make me hold your hand, boy. Make me hold your hand. In this long time, can we never see you? Come, make me hold your hand. This long time, can we never see you? Come, make me hold your hand. He let you to sit down, put your hands up. He got the music. Make me hold your hand, girl. Make me hold your hand. We want to come again to you to brunch. 2024. No, I am not the musical package for this afternoon. 
good. But I am pleased, pronounce and so privileged to say that I am serving as your MC for this event. Here's the question. Will you catch the vibe yet? How was the food? Jimmy, you look like your belly is full. <laughs> we are so excited to have you here this evening. And we have a fantastic, fantastic program lined up for your entertainment. We want to just remind you. I've heard it said. And I just want to remind you of it because you've heard it too. There are two types of people associated with Ledner High School. The, the, anybody know the answer? Two types of people. See here, you know? Just two. Those who went and those who wish they went. the spectrum, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank you so much for being here. My name is Andrea Oliver Clark. I am from the class of 79. And that gentleman has sung two at the beginning of the program. Mr. Patrick Hilton, who is the chairman of the board, was the head boy when I was the head girl in 1981. We're gonna give up for yourself, Mark. What are you doing wonderful? I don't know how to stand sitting in the dog in the solid. I don't know how you stand. At this point, I want to bring greetings. And I want to recognize some people. So if you are standing within the sound of my voice, and you are a current student at the most prestigious school on the island of Jamaica, if you are in this room, and you are a current student, of Glenmuir High School. Will you please stand so we can recognize you? Will you please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, look at our future. Our future looks bright. The Flagrance Banner is being carried by some amazing young people. And we thank you. If you are the head boy, and you're in, of this current school year, and you are in this room, will you please stand? The head boy. Is the head boy here? What about the head girl? Is the head girl here? They're here, but they're milling around. I understand, you know, we're always busy about doing lots of good business. So, we want to recognize some other folks in the house. If you are in this room and you went to Glenmuir in the 2000s, will you please stand? Oh, if you're in a little line dog and you're not here on food yet. <laughs> if you went to Glenmuir in the 2000s, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you, they're all over. So put your hands together, even if you can't see them. And greet those who went to Glenmuir in the 2000s. What about those in the room who went to Glenmuir in the 90s? Are you here? Are you here? Can I hear from you? Can you stand? Can you leave the door for a little bit? And stand up. Anybody? Not you, you may die. 2017. <laughs> if you are here and you went to what, 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 what decade are you now? The 90s, the 80s. If you went to Glenmuir, wow, I hear that. In the 80s, be sad. Where are the 80s? Yes, sir. Give yourselves a nice big rising round of applause. Absolutely. And I am making my way around this corner. Because I know for a fact, I know for a fact that there are some people sitting in this general area, this general area, that went to Glenmuir in the 70s. Yeah. 
out. The legendary 70s group. All right, here it is. If you are in this room, and I met a lady this morning, just this morning, who qualifies here, and you're going to get there between 58 and 69, we so honor and revere you. Please stand. Please stand. Oh, oh, there are more of you. I know there are. I know there are. They're, they're back in that corner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say to you that in this house today, we have head boys and head girls from various eras. So if you are here and you serve as a head boy or a head girl at any time in the school's history, please step. Please step. Woo! Yes, sir. I am going to stand beside the best head boy ever. Right here. And if you can't see, then I just want to tell you, he also is known to be the only past student who's ever been asked to chair the board. So there has to be something said. I'm not speaking out of terms. <laughs> Mr. Patrick Hilton, I honor you. Yes, sir. And then there are some people. And you know, because they played such a part and a role in your life. If you are a current teacher at Glenmere High School, please stand. Wow, yes sir. Or photographer, if you're a current teacher, please stand. Can you put your hands together for our current teachers? I'm not going to get into a whole heap of trouble right now. I'm going to get into a whole heap of trouble right now. So, you know, we're not supposed to have favorites, but you know we do, right? You know we do, right? So I'm not calling any name, but I'm hoping you call me. What's your favorite? What was your favorite teacher in school? And what, what was the subject? That was Matt. And he's actually here. He just told me that he's the man in all some class before me. Mr. Andrew Gordon. Mr. Andrew Gordon! Somebody said you were the favorite teacher in school. We were Mr. Kennedy. We want to honor all the past teachers at Glenmere High School. All the past teachers at Glenmere High School. If you're here. All right, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to continue with the entertainment for tonight, or for today. You have seen them before. They performed earlier. And so from Westmoreland to Clarendon, would you put your hands together and give a rousing flagrant welcome again to the Hertford uh, folk, folk group. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hartford Folk Group.
Mm -hmm. When for me, no.
about. Oh, you can do better than that, Glenn Muir. And family, you can do a little bit better than that. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to move on. I know the afternoon is getting, is getting long, but we have still some more things that we'd like to talk with you about tonight. So, let's, let's, let's start with some prizes. Anybody like to win anything? I like to win some things. So, this one is more about something that you possess or you have. If you're a mother in this room with a baby under six years old, can I see your hands? If you're a mother in this room with a baby who is six years or younger, six years or younger, yes. Young lady, if you would head to the back of the room, that's the first, I saw another hat. How many prices are? Two. Two. So this lady right here in the purple, and uh, did I see another hand? And this lady right here in the floral top. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for a little bit more entertainment? Say yes. This individual is a past student of Glenview. She has been the founder and owner of one of Jamaica's most exquisite boutique providing home couture fashion for the woman of class. Namely, every woman in this room. A woman of class and substance who wants to make a statement wherever she goes. The famous boutique is called Signatures and the lady in question is Mrs. Pat Barrett. Today she is teaming up with another past student, a notable gentleman of substance who Italian Vogue describes as the leading supplier and exporter of black models in the world. His company is Saint International and his name is Mr. Dwight Peters. Together, ladies and gentlemen, they are gonna be putting together our fashion show and I wanna tell you a little bit more about Dwight. We call it, uh, but power means I think I did. Okay, so models, mm -hmm. Reminder models, please go upstairs now. Please go upstairs now if you're modeling in today's presentation and fashion show. Please make your way upstairs now. This is a very prime position. I think I want to come between two distinguished gentlemen as I talk about one distinguished gentleman. So, when power fits Roy, <laughs> and lightning flash and thunder roll, and the vibes catch the fragrance fire, Mr. Radcliffe, then we have vibes in Occupature fashion show. And two very fashionable young men are flanking me as we bring out our models for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, want to catch the vibes and welcome the models for this evening. Do you see the models I'm standing beside? <laughs> of excellence in Jamaica today. But guess what? The school with the beacon of excellence has a gate that is there from 1958. And so we see so little, so little Battlefoot School never King Son of Bill Gates. What is it the Calabar Gate? What is it the Calabar Gate? All Calabar have gates. Jamaica College. And then I said nothing in a Jamaica education. But they have gates. The truth. Eh? Even the little one of a North Street named Kingston College. They are gates. And you know, Sir so Bishop gives them for the Kingston College. He got so disappointed in them that he decided to buy to found Glenmuir. And so we want a proper gate. We want a proper gate at the Glenmuir High School, Omar. We want a proper gate. How many people remember when Omar did a budget speech many years ago? 
the budget speech that leads to the gas riots in Jamaica. You know he start the speech? I am a student, a past student of Glenmuir High School. A proud past student. And then, and Dr. Smalley, then introduced gas tax. They can most them put down Glenmuir. We invite the chair, the president of the past student association, and the principal of the school. And when you see her, you know where you are, propagate. Gates, you must have you must be the gates. So we are going to we are going to right here. But you have to walk around because everybody have to see it. Because we want them to contribute. Hello! Oh my no in the parliament again, we can't get the money. Sydney, so I want you all to find the screen and then you will see a lovely image of our gate, our pro proposed gate. Prudence, it's, are we ready? Yes. So I don't see it. So what about the, oh, that screen all the way, right? So everybody take a look at the screen and you will see an image of the gate. Image of the gate, and that's going to be the gate that we're going to be building during the summer holidays and it will be completed early September before the school year begins. And we're going to dedicate the gate on Founders Day, which is September 15, 2024. So today, Madam Principal, we want to start the fundraising here. So we have three groups who will be presenting their first donation. You notice I'm saying first donation. So we have the Canada, the Toronto chapter, who will be making a presentation of 5,000 Canadian to the Gate Project, to be followed by the class of 1985. They will be presenting a check for one million Jamaican dollars. And the local chapter will present our check for two million dollars. I just want everybody to know that it is one Glenmuir, one PSA, and it's a color collaboration. So therefore, year groups, chapters, everybody will be part of the fundraising for the gate. So we have Norman who represents Florida. He's here. We have Perry from the UK, and we have we have Shireen from Toronto. So Shireen, come and make the first presentation. No, no, we're going to do Sharif. The wrong check. The wrong check. Our check is in Canadian. This one. This one. So the class of 1985, class of 1985, 
please come on up to make your presentation.
Is that a yes? All right. Listen. If you've been involved with Glenmere for five seconds, you know we are an extremely talented bunch. I mean, you cannot walk through the doors at Glenmere High School and not see it dripping with talent. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we've asked the association to identify, and the teachers to identify a talented young performer for us. And so they are bringing to us this afternoon from Form 4G, will you help me welcome to brunch 2024, Miss Chantoya Edwards. Oh, you can do better than that.
Mirror High School. None of the schools can boast that kind of talent to you. You are aware of that, right? I might be a little partial, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, we have, you know, when you went to school, and I'm so glad that I went to a co-ed school. I know there's some people in here who went to other types of school, including my husband over here who went to a school where there was green and black in Kingston. And I'm proud of one here. That's school right there. I don't understand those types of school, but I'm so glad I went to a co -ed. You glad you went to a co school? Because you know, you first look a boyfriend, first look a girlfriend, first look a crush thing. You know what I mean? When you, look, look, beautiful, why are you looking at You know it, though. You know it, though. Yes. So, we had so many relationships that were formed in school. I could call names, but you know, I'm protecting the innocent. I'm going to protect the innocent in the house. But today, because of those little relationships, I would like to say happy first year anniversary today to Miss Simone Clark Green. Mrs. Simone Clark Green. They will never put that gentleman name on here. Is not she married to our set? Don't she have a husband? Where? Mr. Green and Mrs. Green, happy first anniversary. Mr. DJ, are you ready to take it away, sir? this year to stage brunch 2024 in Clarendon at the veranda. It's the business of two of our outstanding past students. You know who we're talking. You know who we're talking in a little bit, in a little bit. I'm just tempting you along here. So in a little bit, Yes. In a little bit. <laughs> Mr. Juki Chin has revolutionized Jamaica's concept of a patty shop. I remember this young man at Glen Muir, and I don't know that anybody knew that there would be such a modicum of success. But Juki has created waves in the country, together with his wife, Edith. Should I say, the Honorable Edith Chen, Custis of Clarendon. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Past Students Association. Please, to honor this wonderful couple at brunch 2024. And we are inviting to the stage the Honorable Sheila Seely Monteith, also a past student, and uh, she will be doing the honor. Mr. Jukic.
is his passion for others to succeed, evidenced by support for his alma mater, especially the football team, you can clap it, and his care for family, his workers, colleagues of the community, but always with a desire to see others reach their full potential. Juki has received many accolades, but none so great as that which is endowed lavishly on him by all who have come to know him, that is, all of you. His generosity of spirit, which comes from a heart which loves and cares deeply for humanity. So today, the Glendier family salutes you, Juki Chin, class of 78. Chief Executive Officer of Juki Patties, loyal citizen of Clarendon and Jamaica, for your exemplary accomplishments at the highest levels of industry and for your admirable personal attributes, which have allowed you to make a tremendous positive difference to humanity. You embody the principles of Glendier. You are our hero. Thank you so much. But please stay with us, Juki, and I might just like to thank the class of 78. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. I love the Juki. And now we'll invite the class of 85. Anyone is here? From the class of 85, please join us.
grace and generosity of spirit. Yes. We are equally pleased that our nation has recognized your civic and other virtues and has elevated your service to that of Custos from the Lorum of Florida. <laughs> Today, the Glenmere family salutes you, Edith Chin, class of 85, director of Juicy Patties, first citizen of Clarendon and patriot of Jamaica for your exemplary accomplishments at the highest levels of industry and for your admirable personal attributes which have allowed you to make a tremendous positive difference to humanity. You embody the principles of Glenmuir. You are our hero.
enjoy, they were just chilling, enjoying the nice ambience, good company, and your fellow brothers and sisters. Let's go.
amazing. Man, you are on tonight. You are you're some fire. You sound amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not only bringing this beautiful talent to the stage tonight, but our next performer, our last performer, because I know, I know, I understand. Mr. D. Burns, are you in the house?
after she came up on the tree, we realized that some things changed up. Thank you so much. Get your lips full. 
Yes, uh, we have a few more things going on tonight before you leave. It's not night yet, but it's almost night. I need my glasses. This, the, the smarter I get, the more I can see. So can I, can I get my glasses? Uh, anyways, at this point, we are going to make a presentation to uh, or the ballers of 85 are going to make a presentation. Thank you, sir. To the current winners of the what they win? What they win? What they win, guys? What the football team win? Let me see if anybody knows. What they win? Huh? What they win? The Easter Water Champions Cup. Who saw the match? And if you, was it good? You, did you see it in person or you watch it on TV? You watch it on telly? Make North Nice and Guamba. Of course, that is how we celebrate. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, have the legendary ballers of 1985. They're gone? They're gone. Oh my goodness. All right. We don't have them to do that presentation, but I want to show you this fantastic jersey. Your purchase of this jersey, seven thousand dollars, Jamaica, will help to support. Yes, sir. Will help to support the current program at our school. The jerseys are being sold out front. You won't have to look for them. There's a lady out there, and I'm telling you, she's serious about selling our jersey. It's about four times this day she come and ask me, can I promote this? So here they are, $7,000, and they're being sold at the front. I hear that there are a couple of things that we have yet to give away. Yeah. To give away. Yeah. Yeah, to give away. Yeah. And so, at this point, I would like to, um, before, 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 before I do that, what are we giving away, um, Mrs. Simpson? So, it's time for us to draw the gate prize. And the gate prize was donated to us by Leisure for Pleasure. So, the lady, Mrs. Judith James Watts from Leisure for Pleasure is coming to tell us just once, five minutes about her company. She had a raffle going, five seconds. She had a raffle going, and then she's going to draw the raffle and draw the gate prize quickly. So, Judith. Thank you for joining us as a sponsor. Explain what you're doing. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, great. So this evening we are going to be telling you about Little Pleasure. We're going to talk about your gate prize. It's a weekend for two at the Ocean Coral Spring or the Ocean Eden Bay Hotel in Trinoni. Okay. Turn around this Turn this Okay. Yes. And then when we want to win a weekend prize? You know what, the one with the hundred price? Okay, okay. So we're going to be also having a giveaway for a day pass for two adults at the same Ocean Eden Bay or Ocean Coral Spring Hotel in Trelawney. Okay, and the one with the day pass? Any winners in the house? No winners in the house? Oh my, oh my. So just a little before you go, you can enter by booth over there. You can put your name in this box by now. So I hope that your entries are all in here. We're going to go and get tickets right now. So as we put the, the entries in the, in the bag right here, we're going to have a lot of being selected. Any late entries? Do we have any late entries? Any late entries? Going, 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 going. Shuffle that up again for me, Nassar, please. We don't want that late entry getting any advantage. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, but we shuffle for a few seconds. About Mr. Pleasure, we can take care of your hotel accommodation. Very special rates. All you guys from overseas, we can give you a local rate with your Jamaican ID, okay? Take it very low, low rates with Mr. Pleasure. Your reunions, your conferences, your retreats, your resort weddings. Take much of a pleasure. Anniversary packages, your day passes, your cruises, your one day getaways, your fun days, your island tours, not to mention your customized tours, 
you can of course raise a tour for the school or otherwise you can take like a pleasure and you can take out your gift certificates. So therefore, when you're planning your getaway, think about leisure, book pleasure, holidays and tours, where we say bring in the world to Jamaica, take in Jamaica to the free world with one call and just call. So here we go. All entries are now in. Ready? Nobody from 78 class can win. All right, admit. So we are looking for number 056. Ticket. Zero. Ooh. Come, 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 come. I think we have a winner in the house. 056. We only have one game prize. the sponsors for tonight as well for the ones who have really given so much that we could that we could we could put on this fantastic event but are still feeling the vibes of course man so of course juicy patties in back nations back money must rums for the finest rums in the caribbean the simco and the ram water cran water true juice and coca-cola grace kennedy Ever medical supplies and disposables. Saint National Signatures Boutique. You saw their fashions earlier. Beautiful stuff. Magic Touch events. Letter for Pleasure just gave away some prizes. Boot Service Station and GSD Pharmacy, located at 55A Manchester Avenue, right here. In, well, it's not really right here, but in Maypen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a fantastic sponsors. All right, so De Delmore Lawrence. No, not Del Delmore, sorry. Delmore Lawrence, are you in the house? Oh, Delmore, look at you, girl. Big prize and things. I'm gonna have to stay to tell you exactly what you want. Thank you. Miss Bell. 
more. Yes. You are, you are the lucky recipient of an exciting complimentary, all-inclusive, three wonderful days. You are kidding. Two girls' <laughs> nights. Okay, vacation for two adults and either the Ocean Eden Bay or the Ocean Coral Spring Resort in Trelawney. Coral Springs for me. You're ready and ready to go in. Yes, ma'am. So therefore, that is going to take place anytime between tomorrow to October this year, as you know. So let's call us to get your prize going. So therefore, as I said, it goes with all your meals, beverages, your water sports, the water as well as sports, entertainment, your taxes and your graduation. So all your are taken care of, all right? So therefore, thanks again. Thank you, leisure for pleasure. When did I ever get so lucky? Thank you. Thank you ladies so much and Miss Belmore just whispered to me that she's taking me on that um, on the second party in that party of two. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a most fantastic audience. I know you've been patient and sat here, many of you from around noon today and I just want to thank you. It has been a pleasure to be your MC today. There's so many people, there's so many people I want to thank the band, yes. Mr. Sidney Martin for creating a wonderful entertainment package. Thank yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, have a fabulous afternoon. Let's do that.
Shame on yourself.